Diana, this is for you. Oh, kitty -o, it's so cute. <gasps> a bear with a rose. Oh, you're a genius. I'm going to put it next to my bedside. Yeah, this bear is just like me. Soft, fluffy, and plush. Thank you, sweetheart. You really impressed me with this gift. When are we going to train? We're going to wait for kitty to give Diana's present. Coach, why are you so annoyed? When you're having romantic chats with teacher Mike, we don't say anything. I think it's cute. Yeah, nobody cares how I feel in this hot costume. Mascot, be patient. <laughs> His smile looks so funny. I need to take a photo of that. If he sees that, he's definitely going to hate you. I don't think so. Wow, girls in uniform look so gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Who are you looking at? I was looking for you everywhere. He's here with us, looking at his girlfriend. He's already dating Nastya. What? You're dating someone? Which one is Nastya? There, there she is. is. Guys, I'm not dating her. You're dating her. So that black-haired girl decided to take my boyfriend. Well, Kitty, I'll thank you for the gift, but I have to go now. The girls are waiting for me. Okay, see you. Mwah. See ya. Girls, I'm ready. Finally, the star came to us. Come on, we have to start now. Finally, everyone is here. Diana, show me already. Here, look. Listen, Martin, we didn't agree on this. You told me that we're gonna date. I changed my mind. You heard him. He is dating Nastya. Dating Nastya? Mona, I heard you like video games. It's probably better for you to date some computer geek since Martin isn't free anymore. Don't be so sure. I'm gonna talk to Bunny today. Guys, do we have training today? Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. go. Bye, Mona. I wouldn't be so happy if I were you boys. Guys, today we have freshly made popcorn! So hurry up! Tasty popcorn! Guys, I think it's a great idea to sell popcorn to teenagers, but when was the last time you had a sanitation check? Everything is so dirty. Fig is responsible for the sanitation, but he's not very neat. What? Judy, do you want cookies? No, thank you, boys. Zhuzha, you have one day to clean up your shop, or else your business is going to be closed forever. B, go get a bucket and detergent. Judy, everything is going to be shiny today. Great. I'm very glad that you heard me. Big, you're still here. Go grab a rag. Otherwise, we're not going to earn any money. Go quickly. Hey, don't touch me. I'm gonna tell you one last time. Become my friend, become one of the kitties, and all the boys will be yours. Cool, it's coming from someone who doesn't have a boyfriend. I'll think about it. Oh, just look at this one. Well, if you won't be my friend, then you'll be my enemy. Bunny, I see you're all out of shape. Guess you haven't trained for a while. Fiona, seriously? This is no secret. Obviously, we know that. We can get back in shape in a second. So show me what you can do. Girls, come on, let's show Fiona what we can do. We're not losers, we're gonna get back in shape in a moment. Ready, let's go! Victory Bunny are the best! Go team, go! Go team! Guys, wait! Mr. Mr. Mike, are you with us? No, I just don't want the ball to hit me in the head. I need to go over that way. He spoiled the whole game. Quiet, it's Mr. Mike. He can give you a bad grade. All right, guys, let's continue. Morton. Well done. Woo! One more time, girl. Yeah, one more time. <laughs> Fiona. Come on, girl, show yourselves. Do it. <laughs> Fiona. Fiona, are you deaf? Look at me, Fiona. Come on, girls, do it! Come on! Come on! Mike, what are you doing here? B I C T O R Y Victory! Bunny, Bunny are the best! Like, I'm busy right now. Why are you hiding in the trees? Girls are doing well right now without your help. I booked a table at a restaurant for tomorrow. Will you go with me? Mm, okay, but I'm gonna need a beautiful dress. Well, you can ask Bunny Girls for some dresses. They have tons of them. Victory! What's up, Fiona? What do you think? Where is she? Can't believe this. She vanished. Cool. Well, if there's no Fiona, then there's no training. There she is, behind the palm trees. With teacher Mike? Girls, Fiona needs a dress for tomorrow. Can you lend a dress to your coach? We're going to a restaurant. Girls, this is enough. We have to talk to Judy about this. Fiona can't keep living in our room. Yeah, she's already getting into our wardrobe. What's next? Is she going to start taking our makeup? Yeah, girls, that's not cool. But she doesn't care about it. 
She doesn't care about anything except teacher Mike. Her head is going round from their romance and she doesn't see anything else. Yeah, let's talk to Judy. And yeah, we have to befriend her somehow so she could help us with Fiona. Girls, I think I know what to do. Smile, you can take off your costume. Training is over. We found this abandoned zoo not too long ago. The animals there really need our help. Help us save these poor creatures and build cozy habitats for them. Download our game and let's get to work. The pandas, elephants, and lions need our help. Big, have you cleaned up the shop? Yes. Wonderful, the shop must be clean. Hello, Zuzha, can you make a cup of chamomile tea? Hello, bunny girl. Since when did you start drinking chamomile tea? Juja, just make us a cup of chamomile. It's not for us. It's for Judy. We found out it's her favorite tea. We have to make sure she's in a good mood today. Okay, Big, did you hear that? We need to do the same thing when Judy comes to see us. Have a seat, girls. We'll do it right now. We can't clean the shop then, too. Yeah, just make a cup of chamomile tea and make sure everything stays clean. Nice, Dad. Did Martin text you anything? Not yet. He wrote something to me. What? He wrote to me, Hi, Diana. What flowers does Nasta like? I like roses. Tell him I like pink roses. Okay. It's kind of weird. He should just ask Nasta about it. How does it feel to date someone's boyfriend, Nasta? First of all, Mona, I'm not dating him. And second of all, he came here just for me. Listen, Mona, everything just went the wrong way. We invited a new boy from Nastya, a new girl to be friends with Blondie, and a school administrator. It's not our fault you fell in love with Martin on the bus. What? You invited me here so I could be friends with that crazy girl who keeps trying to get me in Leopard? Your chamomile, chamomile tea, tea is ready. ready. I think you deserve each other. Mona, you just got here and you're already starting problems. Make friends with Blondie and everything will go back to its place. Thank you. Girls, let's go to Judy. What am I supposed to do? I'm left with a broken heart. Joja, make me a cappuccino. Mona, we have a lot of broken hearted girls in this academy. But we do have two available guys. Pay attention to them. Sean and Zach. Why do I need Sean and Zach if I love Martin? Make me a cappuccino, no sugar. What's up, Blondie? I guess no friends for you. Yeah, I mean, she's kind of weird. I kept trying to get her attention, but nothing worked. Because all of her thoughts are about Martin. She has no time for friends. She only has Martin in her head. If she's not going to be friends with me, then I'm just going to kick her out of this academy. Hello, Judy. Your favorite chamomile tea. Oh, I was just thinking about tea. You're welcome, welcome Judy. Judy. Also, uh, there's something that we wanted to talk to you about. Girls, look, Bunny are trying to make friends with Judy. Girls, I'm listening to you. Do you have any problems? Yeah, actually, we have some big problems. It's about our coach, Fiona. We're really tired of her living in our room, and we would like for her to leave. She's not listening to us and is refusing to leave. We just wanted to ask you to move Fiona out of our room. And, uh, Administrator Judy, can you please tell Mona to become friends with me? Blondie! We're talking about serious things. I actually have a serious question, too. Girls, I don't have any friends. Just, Just don't, don't cry, cry Blondie. Blondie. Girls, what happened with Fiona? Did she offend you? Yeah, yeah she, she offends us. us. She's stealing our clothes. And taking our cosmetics. And she showers for hours. Girls, this is terrible. A coach should not be acting like that. I will definitely talk to her. Thank, Thank you, Judy. Judy. You're the best administrator. Judy, now I want to talk to you about my friend. Girls, I like Judy. She's cool. She's super cool. Yeah, I mean, she's so kind. I just wish our coach would be the same. Coaches like that don't exist. Fiona pretends to be such a nice person, but in fact, we know who's hiding behind that. It's all for profit, showing off in front of teacher Mike. Yeah, it's all so she could borrow dresses and makeup from us. Well, girls, Judy's already on our side. I hope Fiona will pack her bags up today and leave our room. We hope so. What's up, girls? Are you having problems with your coach? Bad luck. But we became friends with the new academy leader, and she loved us a lot. Well, well she, she loves, loves us too, Judy. Girls, stop enjoying other people's problems and find something to do. Go and practice for a bit. Yeah, it's been a while since you threw the ball in the hoop. We were just going to the court. Judy, today, today you're looking, looking amazing. amazing. 
Anyway, Judy, if Mona won't be friends with me, then we have to kick her out of the academy. Blondie, you can't force someone to be friends with you. It has to be natural. Well, Judy, can you give me some advice? How do I do that? She acts like a tiger when I'm near her. Blondie, you just have to be kind. I'm sure that will help you. No, oh, that's not like me. I can be kind and good. Guys, are you serious? Yeah, just put the unicorn and the note in the locker. It's much easier to propose a date in a note than real life. Do you know how to write or do you need help? Just write, Nastia, will you be my girlfriend? Just six words. Guys, but I'm not used to writing notes. Look, this is how it works in our academy. Just put down the unicorn, here's Nastia's locker, lie it down on the bottom, write a note. Guys, he's shocked. We need to help him. I hope Diana's okay with me taking a torn page out of her diary. Be careful, Kirill. Write in block letters so the girls don't know your handwriting. I'll do it now. Okay, that's it, Martin. We'll write you a note. Now all you need to do is wait for Nastia to send you a text. Okay, I agree. Guys, is it really so simple? Easier than ever. Here you are. Put it in the locker. One more thing, Martin. You need to be more active. Show your energy. Bunny girls like that kind of guy. Cool, guys. I heard you guys. Now stop telling me that all the time. There you go, guys. Do you hear him now? He's no dummy. He's a cool guy like us. Check this out, Mike. I can take the dress from here or from here. Wait, Fiona, stop. Maybe we should wait for Bunny Girls to come and let you borrow a dress? No, Mike. I can take whatever I want. Fiona, it's better not to take it without asking. Mike, they're rich. They won't even notice if I take one dress. Fiona, but it could be called stealing if you just take it. So maybe don't do that. It's bad. Mike, don't be so boring or I'm going to stop loving you. What do you think of this? Nice coat, but a bad idea. <laughs> Listen, Mona, why don't we go to the cafe? I'll treat you to a friendship cake. Did you hear that? She offered her a friendship cake. <laughs> Judy, Fiona is going to be very disappointed. It's okay. I'm sure she's going to be very comfortable in the other room. We, we hope, hope so. You know, I don't mind eating cake at your expense. Finally, I thought it would never happen. Finally, there's a place to sit. Fiona, it's time to pack your bags. What are you doing in our wardrobe? Teacher Mike! Girls, I'll explain everything to you in a moment. Fiona, the girls are here. Mike, I can't choose a dress. She can't choose a dress. Judy! That's what we were talking about. Fiona, you have to pack your bags and leave this room. The girls can't live with you around here. Finally! Fiona is going to the exit. Fiona, do you remember where your bags are? Mike, did you hear that? They want to get rid of me. It's okay, Fiona. You can stay in my room. Girls, we're sorry, okay? We forgive, forgive you. you. Teacher Mike, just help Fiona pack up her bags. And hurry up, please. Did you see that? Fiona doesn't say anything to the administrator. Of course, there's no point. Girls, from now on, your training sessions will be even more boring. Fiona, Fiona give me back my shirt. Girls, where is her bag? There, under, under the bed. bed. Girls, I'm really sorry. I didn't expect such behavior from Fiona. Judy! Oh, you saved us. Now you're our good friend. And you are my favorite student. Guys, you have no idea how hard it was to live in the same room with Fiona. Yeah, she started acting very badly. And even started taking our stuff. But Judy saved us. Like the video, subscribe, click on the bell, and wait for our cool new episodes. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Let's go get some lattes.